Breaking news, maybe not breaking news. The wild, tumultuous career of Jeff Nadeau is over at Barstool. He's out. I have no respect for you. He's identified as part of your crew and how it came to me. That guy's not in my crew. He runs his own crew. Your crew. That's not true. Like that your crew is just it's not true. Still I, understand that, I, I, understand, I understand very much that your crew is still active. There was a guy who died trying to bring this guy down. Literally died. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. So <laughs> when you say shot. died, I don't know why you keep saying it. it's like you, you're really like like he died. Like Nadu killed the guy. So are you excited? Well, last year was some good hope post. And I need someone to go get things for me today. I have a lot of errands I need to run the clean ladies already at the house now, but I'm having a dinner party. So I need someone to go, go, to go uh, wait online for me at a at Petrosian Caviar on um, Park Avenue. I also need someone to pick up a pair of queen-size pantyhose from, from Macy's for me. So I have a few options for them to, to work out right now. I'd like to see what life experiences they have, and then okay. I can put them into a role here that will best see what they're, what they're good at. Okay. Yeah, they won't let me near them. Why? Because I'm gonna haze them. No, I just make them like get my lunch and shit. <laughs> Clean the fish tank. Cool, fun stuff. They'd go home and be like, yo, today we did like cool stuff. Pen bought the company. Yeah, awesome, so you can't let Billy need the interns. <laughs> what are you thinking going into intern interviews this week? I think it can go one of two ways. I'm it's either gonna go really great or really poor. I think it's gonna be good. I'm ready for it. Gotta be able I wanna to hear the heat. Yeah, I wanna hear the questions. <laughs> I'm gonna sorry. walk in, it's gonna be Dave. <laughs> Gino's the best. Gino already works here recently. Yeah. Howdy. What's How up? Doing? How are you feeling about interviews this week? Fine. Who would you like to interview? Connor Griffin, because his voice. Pretty nervous, I'd say. Yeah. I don't know uh, who I'm going to be interviewed by. I think kind of varies. Who would you be most afraid of? Maybe Brian Walker. It just makes me feel nervous. Yeah, okay. I think I'm just going to be nervous no matter what. I feel definitely low on the totem pole. But that's where I'm meant to be. Bottom of the pole. Doesn't mean you can't go up the pole. My name is Peyton yep. Framer. Right. I'm an intern. Went to Penn State. <sighs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Well, thank you for coming to Short Notice. Of course. We've done a few things we wanted to discuss with you before we decide to extend your tenure. Um, first of all, your name? Peyton. And pronouns? Uh, she, her. So where are you from? I'm from Pittsburgh. You know, I just hung out with the quarterback from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Did you? Yes, my friend Ray Mason Rudolph. Oh. Are you single? I am, yeah. Would you date him or Pat? Uh, Mason Rudolph. <laughs> I already dated both of them. <laughs> He's the better lover. There you go. <laughs> really? Um, are those weft extensions, tie-ins, or clip-ins? No, that's so rude. No, well, that's what a dancer, girl. Why are you going to leave I need an application. No. I need an application. Um, <laughs> that was so bad. I'm so embarrassed. Who should, should we watch out for? And who do you think is here for the right reasons? I like them all. You like them all, but if you had to... Get rid of one in the group. Who is it? I'm gonna interview everyone. Are you gonna be a lesbian? No. Okay, we are. <laughs> I'm certainly She's like that. There's only one boy. So there's five social interns and there's only one boy. And he's too good. What's his name? Gino. His name's Gino. How are we doing, guys? Pass. Thank you so Thank much you for coming. Thank you. Can I shake your hand? No, that's it. Thank you. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. Nope. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. I we were kidding! <laughs> come on, come on, I'm Joey. What's your name? Gino. Gino. Your nice last name Ferrari? Uh, close. Fernaro. Fernaro. Well, there, there, there's a, there was a, a cis white woman sitting in this chair right before you with hair extensions. She was the devil. She said that if she had to throw someone out in the group, it would be you. Why? Because, she said she's threatened by you because you're too good at your job. Right. Oh. Oh, I don't know about that, but she I was kidding. So, what exactly do you do? <laughs> so I'm doing Plan Bree social and I'm working on like the TikTok. Well, oh, now has Grace reached out to you to ask if she can sleep at your apartment yet or no? <laughs> Not yet. Okay, she will. <laughs> okay. Where are you from? I'm from Denver, Colorado. Oh, they call it Menver. What? They call it Menver. There's more men per capita in the, in the country in, that, in Denver than there are anywhere else. <laughs> what? Those you don't know that? No. You want to take a quick pH test? <laughs> So if you need me, to, if you need me to step in, just hey. So what's your name? 
My name is Maddie. You spell it I E or Y? I E. How do you feel about the fact that Tommy Smokes followed you on social That's media? Not true. I did not. I do not follow her. I'm on honored. Social media. I heard that you did. There's a different intern that I happened to. Well, let's make this clear. She followed me, and oh. I followed her back. It wasn't me. No, it was not you. I, I follow. Look, I follow people. You know. What can I say? When I follow people. I think I followed you though. I would hope so. Would you follow me? Yeah. I've been following you. Oh. The video where you blocked the Porsche, or the Porsche blocks you like, sent me, it was so funny. I'm so glad it sent you. What's your favorite video of mine? Your interviews made me laugh. When the, you interview people. Or when you got interviewed. By whom? <laughs> oh, I forgot who interviewed you, but I remember your Dave? answers. Did you forget uh, oh. about Dave, our no. Lord and Savior? Why did you get the job? I'm actually good friends with Jack Max, so we had a connection. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Kate, what are you up to? What do you do here? I'm a general production intern, so um, right now I'm cutting clips for Mean Girls. And I was on Mean Girl once, uh -huh. and they didn't air the episode. Really? Why not? I didn't know that I was supposed to revert my brain to when I was seven. Did you graduate yes. college? Yeah, so I actually am a grad student at Oklahoma State University. Oh, nice. Oh, so you're familiar with the, the Hodges? I don't know if that is. Well, basically, there was... That was Kim Hodges, <laughs> Oklahoma State, State University. Can you button that up, please? You're distracting him. Button it up. <laughs> Where'd you go to school? Marist College. I still go there. So now nah, you're not like that smart. I guess. What is that supposed oh, to be? Oh, Marist, I mean. Didn't Fran go to Maybe. You play lax? You lax it up? I'm a laxer. I was a little cross player in college. Really? Yeah, but I played D1. I played D1 too. Yeah, but they're not the best. Where did you play? Harvard. Wow. She fell right correct. into that correct trap. response. <laughs> like a mouse to cheese. Oh <laughs> so if you had to kill one person here, who would it be? Oh my god. I wouldn't kill anybody. But you have to. What if I killed you? I don't know. Please. Somebody else. I like the name Diego. Thank you. Are like you the name Francis. Are you of... Um, I like the name Tommy. Okay, let's not do this. Are you in college right now? I graduated. From where? Trinity College in Hartford. That's a party school. <laughs> yeah. A lot of cocaine. They're <laughs> <laughs> oh, big on that. Did you play sports? I played lacrosse there. Did you really? Yeah. Are you going to ask him where he played? He played at Harvard. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Maddie plays lacrosse at Marist. She does. Yeah. She was bragging about it the whole time. I wasn't yeah. afraid to tell us. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't like to brag about it because I didn't really play. Can you sit compact? <laughs> Can I sit compact? Compact. Can you get small? Can you get small? Real small. Real yeah. tiny. Yeah. As small as possible. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can do it how ideally, you I mean, you know, ideally it's like this. That is oh, pretty like small. Well, oh. I mean, whatever, just as long okay, as you can get yeah, compact. Yeah. That's really good. You gotta get it's really small. small. It's a big part of our That's school. pretty small. Yeah. Okay. And that's good, yeah. That's pretty better, small. Better than most. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty small. Do you like Taylor Swift? Just went to the concert. Thank you. Oh. 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 <laughs> this one is my favorite answer. Okay. Yeah. Let's we're done. Go. We're done. Let's we go. Do you like Taylor Swift? She's certainly an artist. That's what people say when they don't like something. She's certainly an artist, he says. <laughs> one I don't really listen to that often. Tell me more about what you think. I don't really listen to her much, but she's talented. Okay. I think. She has a lot of fans, I'd say. Yeah. Talented, he thinks. Thanks. I know, she is talented. Okay, yeah. yeah, there we go. I would have gone to the concert, I just couldn't afford it. Okay, good, okay, he would have gone to the He's concert. Poor. You'll get there, don't worry. You can just like start an OnlyFans or something. I'm sure um, that'll work out great. No, who, who would be your biggest idol? Thank you. Like, I don't know who I don't like, I can tell you might not like me, it's Brandon Walker. Brandon Walker, actually, was mean to me and another intern. We were, he came up to look for girl or interns on the app. No, that's right, that's right. He, 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 he told me. I wish I was dead. Hey, what'd you uh, do? Like, what'd you do? I would just sing in the booth. What can we do to help you succeed? Your can I see your belly button really quickly? Thank you. Oh my god, we got the whole swing. Very nice. <laughs> we have a Paul's Beach where I swim my line, so I was looking for new models. Oh yeah, I'll definitely join in. Where are you from, Sam? You said Denver. Oh. Um, his name's not Sam what? either. What? It's Gino. Gino. Yeah. Uh, Gino's don't have blonde hair. He's not. Oh. Can I ask oh, you an honest question? Yeah. Just pretend. None of this. No cameras. Seriously. No we cameras. Any of this. We're not here. But okay. real question: When you're pouring through hours of Mean Girl footage, uh -huh. how does that make you feel? Um. Do you do you like it? Yeah. Alex and Jordan were hanging off a cliff. And you could only save one. <laughs> I have to answer. You have to answer, unfortunately, or else they both die. 
Oh, okay. And you have parents. Okay, I'll say Jordan. I just got a question from Kelly Keegs. Okay. The question is, uh, as a proud feminist, uh -huh. how do you feel about the fact that Mean Girl Pod is setting back the feminist movement 100 years? God. I mean, I, I wouldn't say, I would say that's a strong accusation. Mm. No comments. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> What's your nationality and background? I'm from Boston. Did you play hockey? Yeah, you know Fairfield University? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Miss Kathy School of Cosmetology. Mm. So we may run into each other. Yeah, yeah. What is your deepest, darkest secret that you wouldn't want anyone to know? Uh, well, that's kind of dark. I mean, I have anxiety. For Yikes. <laughs> we have no yeah, problem. We have no mental health issues yeah. at bar school, so you are not going to fit in yeah. here. <laughs> if you ever do anything here that's really problematic and, and gets you in trouble, just write a long blog admitting to uh, how, how fucked up you are in the head and everyone will come, come to your side. What do you do here? I'm a sales intern. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. What's his name? <laughs> Jordan. Jordan. She, oh, Jordan Woodruff. Oh, oh, oh. No. The Jordan Woodruff is stay clear of that one. June is Pride Month. Okay. But it's also Black Music Month. Okay. Which do you feel is more important to celebrate? Oh. Um, both of them. If you could only celebrate one. <laughs> Pride! I would love to combine the two. I'm guessing that's not an option, but no, look at their faces. Um, music. Just so we're clear, you, you can celebrate both. Uh, yeah. Oh, he said okay. <laughs> June 1st, everybody makes a decision. <laughs> I try to celebrate both, and the way I do that mm -hmm. is at night I will dust off my trumpet and play along with some Louis Armstrong. Okay. And then afterwards, I will sit on it. <laughs> That's honestly, you came up with the best way to combine the two, so. They seem happy about yeah. it. Yeah. Who's your boss? Um. John Kowalski. Who would you like to be your boss? Or your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> My boss. Um, I do you know how to fight if anybody's ever trying to fight? I take friends. rumble classes, so I'm really Love good. it. If Love you it. lose a fight, you then not come to the office for two months? Mm, well, I'm not going to lose, so. <laughs> okay. Exactly. okay. That's the All right, attitude. that's, that's, that's yeah. a winner's attitude. attitude. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Yeah. Do you have any questions for us? You yeah. have the parade coming up, right? Yeah. What's it called? Gay Pride. Gay Pride. Gay pride. <laughs> how much do your parents make a year? I have no clue. My mom doesn't work. So I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're allowed to ask them. Yeah. They have the job. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. Well, Maddie, you've been a, a, a light in a dark world. Thank you. I mean so much. I love talking to you guys. Coming I wish in. Wish I could stay forever. And maybe uh, you can. We'll see you around. Not here. In here. Oh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, Off to pee this. soon. Mm -hmm. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Thanks. Cool. She's so sweet. She's helpless. I feel bad. She's helpless. I don't want to be mean to her. No, it's not. <laughs> you think I'm no. a wretched old freak? Not, not really. Not quite. It's I mean, okay, so he's a liar. Yeah. He's a fucking liar. Okay? Uh, I do have one more question. What, yeah. If you could have a nickname, what would it be? Mine is <laughs> Mine is Okay. Well, that's what Dave calls me. There is not a single thing that we said that is usable. <laughs> that entire 20 minutes. So I don't know. Everyone can. I mean, look around the office. We'll hire, you know, someone who's deaf, dumb, and blind. So they all got a shot. You killed it. Yeah, okay. I thought they were uh, really sweet, and they're very kind and excited and eager. And there's no one who's too introverted. I thought Tommy was great. I always think incredibly highly of Tommy. And I always think incredibly high of Francis. Yeah. I do think it's interesting that he made a real effort to make sure that those girls knew he was following them. That's that. Uh, I was not. I was following one of them, and it never came up. I made sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Gino. Gino's been running around all day for me. You guys go. Oh, thank Ooh. you. Mina's on the rock. Spicy margarita? Of course. Cheers, girl. Cheers. No, they're honestly, they're all too normal. I miss the days of, of having just weirdo freaks as interns. Like who? Like myself. Oh. Yeah, now they're all just like functioning members of society. Not my bar stool. <laughs> full box. Oh, that was from bar stool breakfast. That was all. <laughs> Right. It's the murder hornet. I killed that thing. Got anything good? No, it's just like making sure people don't do whatever. Just clean it up. A lot of Jeff Star Wars books. I love Jeff. I know he didn't read these books. <laughs> Watches a movie like Dune, Watchmen, buys the book, starts it, doesn't finish it. I do the same thing. This is what we call a home run. Nice. That's <laughs> fine. He better be back stuff. before the, the cleanup happens. Half of the show here is just doing He'll, he'll kill somebody if they get rid yeah, of the Well, we're getting ready for the new office upgrades. Okay. I've been stalking everybody to clean up their areas. Yeah. And then these are our bins. 
Oh, lovely. That we like throw everything out in. Oh, this is cool. A sharp shirt. Oh, this is the DDGT belt. We're doing the Lord's work. <laughs> well, they're getting a whole new office, so there's gonna be like couches and stuff like that. So we just need to get rid of all this stuff. They'll get it back. <laughs> Look at Bowgate. Oh, do you remember this? I can't let this go. No, you can't. I have to keep this. this is just going like everybody else. They will not let it go. <laughs> You want it? No, it's a, I'm just saying. I mean, that's how you re gift. Re gift 101. Re gift 101. Hey, free alcohol. Give some fuck Rico. This was a gift from Rico. I just like to just have a day. What's up? 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 Natural light's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, Alright, well I'm taking this home. You get you get an intern <laughs> natural light and they're like, this is the best job ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go. Thanks, Grace. <laughs> Controlled <laughs> chaos. <laughs> it dumps the diver. It dumps the diver. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Oh, is that your guy? Oh. It's actually Casey Smith's. <laughs> I, what I don't understand is, is why anybody would want this, like, did you feel that, like, actually shocks you? Like, not in a good way. Go put that back in Kim's desk. We're gonna leave this on Joey's desk right now, and I guarantee this will disappear tomorrow. Probably in his ass. <laughs> no. I need wipes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, you can really get it going. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, I'm not that guy. <laughs> I'm not gonna be that guy. <laughs> what we got here, what we got here is a Harvard elitist breaking a common man's collectibles. That's what we got here. Look at me, I wear tight shirts, $40,000 watch, I'm better than you. All right, real question, Fuck how much is head. this worth? Is this like it's a price very expensive thing? Yeah, it's it's price. They had it, he had a custom made, let me see. All right, well, I'll quit. I, <laughs> I, would, I have watched <laughs> Spider <laughs> throw like bowling balls around here and not break anything. <laughs> yeah. And I what shot a that? tiny, soft, Basketball at this hoop from here, <laughs> it hit the back rim and broke Frank's favorite thing into a hundred pieces. Is that his number? Oh, yeah, I do. I want to get ahead of this. You can buy one for $75, but they're all sold out online. What about eBay? Oh, sold out. Are they that? Are they that prize? <laughs> they're uh, they're pretty pretty big. What if we got crazy blue? Maybe. Bro, I mean, it is in, in legitimately it fifteen pieces. <laughs> oh, this Frank Frank loves Diaz. He blames the entire Met season on Diaz getting hurt. What does this mean for Frank? What does this mean for Francis? If what does it mean for all? He's gonna turn this on. The Mets are never gonna win again. Yeah. Yeah. He has one thing that he loves. Soda. And soda. Two things that he loves. Salt. Three things that he loves. <laughs> yes. People aren't talking enough about we shouldn't have a basketball hoop there. Tommy Smokes put it there. This is his fault. I didn't invite people. I hit the balls. Oh my god. <laughs> Who cares though? To France. I mean, silly little bobblehead, right? Stupid sports. Care about sport ball too much. <laughs> just, I just went like this with a soft basketball. It missed the hoop. Or it hit the back rim, I think, and then exploded his Edwin Diaz into a thousand pieces. It, it, it couldn't have gone much worse. I don't know. This, this is crazy. It's Where like he got de decapitated. Why would you do that? I picked up you the ball. This is what, the ball what do I say? What do I say? Like, I've had about enough everybody of playing games yelling. and throwing balls around. You're Things right. happen. You're right. And now we're gonna have to do it. Oh my god, it's living. <laughs> <Pardon me. laughs> <laughs> that was it's like it was made of fucking glass. I feel horrible yeah. about it. I don't. He will not want oh, a fixed one. Another. I'll do the best. That we yep. can. Who's good at this? Is someone any? I, I, I feel I like the, you are good. I have the at this. hands of a 1910s worker. Yes. <laughs> All right. If it, it uh, he's not happy with it. I'll just I'll buy him the new one. Should I just buy him the new one anyway? Like I feel like that's probably the right decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I, this is the first time seeing it this time. This uh, is. Viv, it's been 30 seconds. That is the one. His bones are in a million pieces. <laughs> <laughs> We'll let Vibs do his magic and see what it looks like. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's, not, it's not happening, right? I don't, I don't, this, not my gorilla glue. Oh, there you go. This 
is a tough one. How you doing? I don't think I can work here anymore. I, I oh, mean, no, you, you can this is the worst a, thing you've done by so far. It's so bad. <laughs> this could turn the Mets season around, too. You think he's going to be like, this is going to turn it around? Just <laughs> 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 throw this out, right? No, 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 you got to keep it. Oh, yeah, yeah. If someone you love is murdered, don't you want to at least see the no, body? No, I don't want to see their <laughs> mutilated body. <laughs> you don't see the movie? I want to be told the they were and killed. The body, and like, we are currently it. trying to put their teeth back in their head, but like... You never see it? I would well, recommend you not come in here. This will may, may break him. I, I don't know what you want me to say. It seems cruel. I don't think I could have fucked it up more <laughs> with a bomb. I feel like Sid from Toy Story. Like, I don't know what he's going to do. What's the status of Edwin Diaz? Right he's hurt. He's, the, he's dead. dead. He's out of the year. He got hurt. He's all dead. But it's coming from Little Silver, New Jersey, which is not far. And I'm wondering if I could potentially drive out there. <laughs> I called Frank. Um, he was a really good sport about it. I said, I was very nervous. And I said, I, I broke it. And he goes, oh, don't worry. I got two of those. But I didn't know if that meant I could cancel the order or not. I think we're just going to go through with it. He's a really good sport, though. Okay. So, hat tip to Frank. <laughs> I have that exact bobblehead upstairs. <laughs> just like just like uh, Edwin Diaz, that bobblehead's out for the season. Wow. A signed pocket pussy from Kaylee Gunner. How'd I get so lucky? Lenny, thanks for keeping me wet. Kaylee Gunner. How'd I get so lucky? The school scenes is a PG program the kids watch. See, I've never seen this thing before. Really? Oh, gosh. How do I do this? How do I get it? <laughs> you just... Ew. Ew. I don't like it. I don't want to look at it. No, I feel like someone's gonna bite me. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm scared to put fingers. Uh, no, 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 it's, it's a little gooey. Yeah, yeah. Are you supposed to put like water in this? Uh, maybe, some, maybe some lotion? Uh, supposed to put like a lube? Some lube? Wait, what is this? What's the bottom? Oh, is there an ass? There's an asshole on the bottom. <laughs> Get out. No of way. Here. That doesn't look what like else an is ass. this? It's I, a star. I gotta put my finger in that. Yeah, it's it's a meal. It it has teeth. Thoughts. Maybe good they come with some instructions or something. <laughs> instructions? <laughs> what does it say? In and out? And then when I got up there, something just came over me for some reason like, that I thought I could throw a good pitch. Like, I don't know why, so I tried to like throw a real pitch and I just threw a ground ball instead. I think there's been worse first pitches and it, theoretically it did go straight. They're also... Your, your, your first pitch for them or your pitch the day to move to Nashville? Oh, uh, Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know. That first pitch was really bad. It was ground ball. Oh, balls. That was so bad. <laughs> I mean, I could have easily overhanded it, which I should have done, obviously. But for some reason, you could or you did Like for some reason, I thought I was going to throw a real pitch. He said I could have overhanded. He overhanded it. No, I didn't. Did I? Do you think you threw the ball like that? I don't remember. No, I'm saying I could have easily just done like that. That's exactly what you did. No, it's not. I could have thrown a blooper. It didn't go in the dugout. It would be hard to throw in the dugout. The catcher said the first time before in the dugout. He says. I haven't thrown a ball in years. Didn't throw one ball before that and thought he was going to be George Bush and throw a strike yeah, right down the middle. When I got up to the mound, there's something I'm going to really try to throw this. I mean, you weren't. You were two bounces? Yeah, it was two bounces. <laughs> I haven't watched it since. I haven't watched it. But also, like, is anyone expecting you to throw, like, 90 up? Uh, no, but I thought I could have. That's insane. That you thought that. Yeah. Was the crowd upset? Luckily, it really did not fill in. At the beginning of the game, <laughs> I'd rather a bad pitch because it's better on the. It was a good one. <laughs> but I, this is maybe breaking news, maybe not breaking news. The wild, tumultuous career of Jeff Nadeau is over at Barstool. He's out. Yeah. Rico, big day. Nadeau no longer. Oh, I thought you were going to say D Day. Uh, I would <laughs> like to obviously thank all those who gave their lives storm in the beaches for this country um but no it's just another day the book's never fully closed i think this is a good sign that it was based on what dave said but yeah i mean you know i don't know so you're saying Dan's, dave's not a man of his word no he is a man of his word but with this guy somehow calls out of a crack in the wall i mean you can't go into a negotiation like that and ask for more money only a crazy person would do that he never did that never did that uh those tapes were edited they say i don't get it he never got it. This is what it is. Another win. Good luck in the future. You know. Listen, am I responsible for a murder? No. Did piling on help? I'm sure not. He was fine. Like, we talked it out. And I don't hold any ill will against him. I didn't agree with a lot of the things that he did. Obviously, he's come out now and been like, the reason I did it 
put the bet slip out was because it's on another book. What he's also not saying is like the odds he got were different than what he said. So whether you like it or not, I mean, the guy lied about it, but whatever. He's not a fan of me and that's okay. Whatever. If you don't have haters, you don't have fans. <laughs> I thought he'd be coming guns blazing. So did I. That's how you know. They took away his fight. Jeff McFeeball is a joke. E -I -E -I -O. With a bubble here, a bubble there, a pop up here, a pop up there. This team sucks. Everything sucks. Daniel Vogelback, team captain. 95 losses. <laughs> <laughs> you were the leader. Sold me arms down. I've been doing nothing. Oh yeah, that's really worked for the past 20 years when we sell your arms down. Your know. army is supposed to be disbanded. They are disbanded. It seems like you're still taking that guy, a march to your, uh, the beat of your drum. That guy has had an axe to grind with him for 10 years. I've admired his work. I've shown up on the same roofs as him and been like, nice gun. And he says, oh, nice gun. Yeah, right. But we work separately. Ah. Sounds like if you show up on the same roof, nice gun, nice gun, you work together in some capacity. He's been, you can look, he has a Does he exist without you? Probably not. Yes, he does. Nah. I used to get some information yeah. from him. Oh. It was a great resource. He was a great paper to read. Yeah. Okay. It's over. He no. spreads the truth. It is the truth. That's why I But it's sent. over. I knew about it's it. It's over. I, okay, I never sent it, never did whatever. How'd you find out about it? Your crew. That guy's not in my crew. He runs his own crew. Your crew. Which was supposed to be disbanded. This would it's be not, like after the walls taken true. down in, in East Germany, you find he people rebuilding. Had, he has had his own axe to grind for 10 years. He's identified as part of your crew and how it came to me. That's not true. Like that your crew it's just is not true. Still, I'll oh, get him on a conference just, call. He has never been part of my crew. How do you get him on a conference call? Dave, the the fact problem. that you can coordinate this conference call so quickly mm -hmm. indicates he's part of your crew. I mean, yeah, it's the internet. You send a message. Dave, Rico's just collecting a lot of uranium for There was a guy own, you are you familiar you know, with that? Kind of there was a guy who died in his, in his garage. He's not going to do anything with it. There him. was a guy who died trying to bring this guy down. Literally died. Trying to bring this kid a ten year look him up. Ten years of tweets against that guy. Literally died trying to bring him down. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. So when you say shot. died, he literally died. He, literally he didn't dead. die. He didn't die because he was trying to bring him down. Bring who down? The do? He knew too much. Yeah, literally. Every one of his tweets was about him. And then he just died from died. overwork. That sounds like, like a white <laughs> like He died right after because, Jerry's because, He died right after like Jerry's fight. Exhaustion is like, oh, a car overheats, like excite bike. He was doing too much to bring down the do. I mean. I mean, you saw the other guy die in fucking Better Call Saul. The guy with the blanket, like he was obsessed about it. He's obsessed. Guys die like that. This shit takes you over, bro. I almost died, really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you keep saying it. it's like you, you're really like truthfully, truthfully, like he died, like Nidu killed the guy, truthfully. What? You don't understand that there's still people. That want no, to I do understand. I understand. Ve I, I understand. I understand very much that your crew is still active. Crew hated him before I got there. I gave up hoons a few years ago. I've just been vaping, packing zins. But this is the perfect excuse to get back on them. You're pretty much cranking hoons just walking down the street. This is uh, this is scaring me a little bit. Look down there. This is <laughs> it, honestly, it feels like the beginning of a monster movie. I mean, having lived in China for a long time, I don't know if I ever saw it this bad. Maybe once or twice. And I haven't lived in Jersey for a long time, same thing. There was just um, a dude from Gambia, Africa. He was he was on a bike. He had no it's idea so, what was going on. Yeah, so terrified. he was he was terrified. He was like, what is this? And we had to explain to him, it's the, wildfires. Did you wear a mask to work today? I didn't know. Jake Marsh did. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. Billy wore a mask. Sheep. Um, Pat. Well, now people are worried that flights are going to be canceled and no one's going to be able to get to the dozen tournament in Chicago because I guess right now all flights are grounded. God hates the dozen. I think that's the bottom line. That's why I'm retired. Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna... This will clear up, right? I got an idea. Let's go get a drink and see if this blows over. Okay. I mean, this is. I have never seen a smile like this. Oh, I saw a TikTok thing about how to fix a, a yeah. headache in Louisiana. You want to do it? Yeah. It's like how to fix a headache. Yeah, what, what do you do? So you can like really hit me in the head or No, it's a yeah, cup of water the same time. and you yeah, put it on your head with a, with a paper towel. 
experience. Well, won't it fall? No, you hold it and oh. you let the water just kind of seep into your brain. Should we right. try it? I like, I like the sound of that. All right, let's do it. I'm wearing this sweatshirt on. I saw this the other day. Are you doing the Louisiana? Louisiana, yeah, yeah. You want to help? Sure. All right. I saw this on TikTok. Apparently, in yeah, Louisiana, okay. they um, take a glass of water, and if you have a headache, you put a towel on your head and flip the water upside down and put it on your head and remove the towel and then you just leave that on your head and then no, I saw it on TikTok. Apparently it's like I don't understand. I didn't finish the TikTok, but apparently the water How long Say it was again? the TikTok? Not that long. <laughs> I think you just put a glass of water on your head. Upside down? I can't remember. But it is not, it's a real thing I saw. <laughs> no, it's not ready. I think you're supposed to use a rag. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? You just pour it on you just no, put it on pouring. my head. No, I'm not pouring. It's not going to no. pour on you, no, no, no. dude. Sit this down. is absolutely going to get me so wet. No, it's not. It's going to get rid of your headache. You ready? Huh. So you just do this, and then you just watch it. I think they, like, rotated it a little. And the water just slowly seeps into your brain. Do you feel any better? A little. More of, like, a sinus headache. I have a trick for sinus headaches, too. What is it? You just take a lot of hot sauce and you do a line. How's this hurt. feeling? It's, it's, it feels relieving. I'll take some pressure off. I'll take some pressure yeah. off. Rudy, you sw switch with me. I gotta, I gotta scratch my face. Just try to, just try to relax. Okay. All right. I'm okay, all right. All right. There you relax. go. There you go. I have no idea if this works. It. I feel like it might just be placebo, but it might work. Is You're it, getting a it, little wet. It's how long is it deal? supposed to take? I think until the water all goes into your brain. How long is it getting into my brain? <laughs> what do you mean? Your brain? It's on your head. Your brain's yes. right here, and the right. water's right here. All right. Move it down. Yeah, move it. Oh, yeah. That's the ticket. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Here, you just hold it. All right, we'll see ya. Yep. Good All luck. Right. Just hold that there for a while. Thanks. Where are you going? Nowhere. I are just, you not staying? I'm staying. I just couldn't. This is your refrigerator lock. No one steals any more fucking sodas. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a straight jacket. <laughs> like it's got. It's got a look. It's a look. Yeah, it's a look. <laughs> it's tough to type. Like if you get a phone call, you're fucked with this. Great Father's Day gifts. Go to a barstool store and use the code. You can have this delivered. Comes with a little lube. You guys better cut that shit about my hair extensions out, though. Yeah. Oh, now because you know. Let me, now tell you, let me tell you something right now. Because.